Alright people, so let's see what is coming through for my water signs today. A new beginning. After a tower moment, something crashed and burned, you are going to have a new beginning happening. So from that rubble, you are going to rebuild stronger, wiser, because you learned a few things from that incident. But somebody is coming back around or there was a repeated cycle that needed to end and it ended abruptly and harshly. Now, you are definitely attracted to someone. You find someone to be very sexually attracted or they find you to be sexually attracted. Yeah. You've gone through a lot of difficult times. Like I said, a tower moment hit and you were left broken on the floor. It caused you a lot of confusion, but you finally learned what it was designed to teach you. And now you're healing. Now you're healing and someone wants to come back around. A situation is coming back around as well. And the person that you do want to be in your life, the person that you see as your wish fulfillment, they are also coming back around or you are finally healing to align with this person. But I do see romance coming in for you guys. So that is definitely something to look forward to. So a romantic connection is coming in for you all. After a very rocky period of time, things may have ended with this person. Yeah. Because you weren't ready to give them what it is they wanted or they weren't ready to give you what it is you wanted, which was a committed relationship. But you kept your eyes on this person. You kept finding out about them. You kept being curious about what they were up to. You never gave up on this connection. Yeah. So even when your tower hit and things crumbled around you, the one thing you held on to was this person. Because there was a lot of upsets that happened in your life recently, but it was the universe way of removing things from your life that was not in your best interest. Now that that tower has fallen and things are finally opening up for you, a reconciliation is coming for you with this person. Yeah. Things have finally balanced out for you with this individual. So where things may have been confusing or rocky or you guys couldn't find a middle ground, all that is over. Whatever was keeping you both apart has now been removed and you're about to have a reunion with this person. Now there is something that you haven't said to this person yet. You're back and forth in your head as to communicate to this person your true feelings. Now your feelings run deep for this person, but you keep hiding it from them. And what you're not realizing is that this person intuitively knows. They know how you feel for them. They know that you do love them, but they want you to say it to them. So this person is also keeping a secret. They know how you truly feel, even though you haven't expressed it. So you may have felt like you've been hiding from this person, but you haven't. This person knows. But you had a lot of toxicity in your life. The reason for the tower is to remove this. For some of you, it could be an addiction. It could have been limiting mind beliefs. It could have been um, <clears throat> procrastination. But the tower came to move out those toxicities that you had in your life. And you did a lot of lying to yourself for a long period of time. You kept holding on to the past, holding on to the hurt, deceiving yourself that this person did you wrong in order to stay away from them. But when your tower came and you, you really had to face you, you finally realized, no, I was the wrong one. Now you have a decision to make. You could keep hiding your feelings from this person or you could decide to open yourself up to this person. Now you are afraid that this person is not going to receive you. 
You are afraid that this person will be defensive to you. This person gave up on fighting because you refuse to acknowledge them as a person. You have had a lot of regrets. Because like I said, when that tower fell, you realized who this person was in your life. And you have a lot of regrets because you probably treated this person very poorly. Now, you don't know how to tell the truth. Right now, you don't even know how to start a conversation with this person. You are unsure as to, you know you want a reconciliation with them, but you are back and forth in your head. Because you are afraid of being rejected. You are afraid of them saying, no, I've moved on. You are so terrified to let this person know that you see everything with them. You see happy home, happy life, happy wife, husband, the white picket fence. You are afraid to tell this person that they are everything you ever dream dreamt of. So instead, you stay up at night obsessing about what isn't being said. You are having the conversation in your mind where they reject you and it is causing you a lot of anxiety. So what this is telling me is that you know you messed up. Yeah. And instead of speaking your truth, you're staying in silence with agony and pain when this person is waiting for you to return. Yeah. You're not being logic because you're you're not being logical because you're operating from fear. You're operating from emotional imbalance. And if you really clear your mind and your heart space, you're going to realize that it is all in your head. It is all you. Right? There is a repeated cycle that is going to happen with this person. There will be a reunion happening because there is unfinished business between you and this individual. But you are afraid to take action towards them. And if you don't take action towards them, nothing is going to happen in this situation. Because you are very much in love with this person. That I do know for sure. And intuitively, you already know what it is you have to do. Fear is keeping you back. Fear is keeping you stuck. Fear is making you feel like, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, the fear of this person rejecting you is keeping you in this cycle. But you need to find the strength and the courage to move forward in this situation. You're agonizing, hoping that you're leaving everything up to fate. You're leaving everything up to the divine. When all you have to do is reach out to this person. Yeah. Because this relationship never left you. Although you left it. You carry this relationship with you repeatedly over the years. And for some of you it is years. But you were a player. Or you are a player. Could be a Aries Leo or Saji dealing with you. You were in this energy that you were only looking for hookups. But you hooked up with someone that you fell in love with. Someone that you saw your forever with and that scared you. You ran. And then in your head, you put up all these mental barriers that this person doesn't feel the feel for me the way I feel for them but they were here waiting patiently for you to realize your mistakes they planted the seed and they let you go because they knew for a fact that if it if you were for them you would return so they let you go but they have been waiting on you to return they want you to come back in with a stable offer they want, they see their forever with you as well. But they are not willing to accept anything half. They want the full nine yards. 
Because the way you feel for them, they feel for you. It is a reciprocated love. But you chose to run away rather than run to them. Because you had to learn the lessons that the divine was going to teach you. That's the reason for the tower. You had to go through a lot of cycles to learn the harsh lessons in order to get yourself in readiness for this person. Because you was the one that walked away from this person. You were the one that felt like you were not good enough. This person never said you weren't good enough. You felt that way. And you ran from what it is you felt for this person because you felt they didn't feel the same way. But neither one of you ever expressed it. But this person knew it. And all the while you were running, my question to you is, were you running from them or from your own feelings of knowing that this person is the one for me? Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolve into light. Create room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So stop doubting what it is you know you need to do. Stop doubting. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it allows and gives. So this person let you go. For you to realize how much you love them, they willingly let you go. Wait, don't rush in. Allow nature to take its course. So this person had faith in you. And they were waiting for you to surrender to this connection. Surrender. At, at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So you had to go through this tower. This person had to let you go. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So you may be leaving it up to faith, but faith is letting you know it's time for you to move forward to this person. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. You already know this person is your person. Trust that everything is going to work out. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of the resentment. So, you may have felt that this person let you go because they didn't love you. <coughs> they let you go because they loved you. Alright, so this is what I have for you guys. I hope it helps. Have a good one.